This presentation deals with smoke fire from a lithium battery in the cockpit. Lithium batteries are in our everyday portable devices. Therefore, their number on board aircraft are increasing. IKEO has written that operators should contact manufacturers for a procedure. Airbus, therefore, has created such a procedure. This presentation is divided into four parts. What is lithium battery fire? The lithium battery procedure. Where is the procedure and why? And its conclusion. A lithium battery fire starts with a chemical reaction in a battery cell from a defect or a damage. This produces heat, which is a catalyst for the chemical reaction within the battery. It is the thermal runaway. The situation cannot stop on its own. Temperatures increase, and if left unchecked, the material around the battery ignites, producing smoke and flames. The battery cell, because of the buildup of pressure, may explode. Regarding the smoke coming out of the lithium battery, we checked with portable devices. The toxicity is below harmful level. To stop the fire from a lithium battery, you need to stop the thermal runaway. And to do so, you have to cool the battery down. Use water or non-alcoholic liquids to cool the battery. Water will run through the device and take heat from the battery. Extinguishers available on board the aircraft will only work on flames, but will not cool down the battery. In any case, never cover a lithium battery fire, not even with ice. If you do so, the heat will be kept beneath the cover, with the ice acting as an insulator, causing more damage. Some equipment in the aircraft use lithium batteries, such as the ELT, as well as the aircraft batteries itself. Those batteries and the risk they present are dealt with by certification process and regulation, including the CS25. Portable electronic devices are widely common amongst your passengers. They can carry up to 10 batteries of different types. Fire hazards in the cabin is tackled through a procedure in the cabin crew operating manual. But those same portable devices are present in the cockpit. In this presentation, we are talking about the lithium battery fire in the cockpit. You have to know what devices are equipped with lithium batteries. It's easy. Nearly all of mobile devices have lithium batteries. EFBs, flashlights, laptops, tablets, cameras, mobile phone, any portable electronic device may have lithium batteries. So let's talk about the procedure itself. It is located in the QRH and must be entered only when you clearly identify that the source is coming from a lithium battery. So let's go through the procedure together. Smoke or flame or both are noticed by the flight crew and immediately identified as coming from a portable electronic device. The flight crew applies the fire from lithium battery fire procedure. The first question to ask, is there a need for a transfer of control? The pilot seated opposite of the fire may be more suited to fly the aircraft. Pilot flying starts by calling the cabin crew, requesting to initiate the storage after lithium battery cabin procedure. This cabin crew procedure assists in taking the device out of the cockpit, immersing it into water and storing it in a lavatory. Meanwhile, the pilot monitoring checks the device. Are there flames? If yes, the pilot flying uses his crew oxygen mask. And the pilot monitoring uses the smoke hood. 
the pilot monitoring will use the fire extinguisher to dose the flames. Because of the use of the halon, the flight crew should protect themselves at that point. Is the device removable from the cockpit? If yes, then the pilot monitoring transfer the device to the cabin crew, who will have started the right procedure, thanks to the initial call made by the pilot flying. If no, then the pilot monitoring will pour water or non-alcoholic liquid over the device until the signs of thermal runaway stops. Pour as much as needed. Then, monitor the device throughout the flight. There are two at any time items located at the end of the procedure. At any time of the procedure, if the smoke becomes the greatest threat, consider the removal of smoke procedure. And if the situation becomes unmanageable, consider an immediate landing. So where is the procedure and why? The smoke fire from lithium battery procedure was introduced around the beginning of 2015. It is placed after the smoke fume of ionic smoke procedure and after the removal of smoke fume procedure. It consists of a one-page procedure. As you may know, we worked to reduce the number of smoke-related procedure in the QRH. But when we built a smoke fire from lithium battery procedure, we saw two major reasons to have it as a standalone procedure. If we had included it in the smoke fume of unique smoke procedure, both pilots would have had to use their crew oxygen masks from the beginning. Although we just saw in the lithium battery fire case that one crew member must stand up. The crew member who will stand might not have enough hose length to move around the cockpit. Plus, we found that the smoke perceived by the pilot is below the level of immediate risk, so there is no need for crew oxygen masks from the beginning of the procedure as long as you are not using the extinguisher. The other major reason is that further down in the smoke fume of unique smoke procedure, the flight crew cuts power to major cabin system, causing great disturption in the cabin side. This is unnecessary electrical shedding. For this reason, we decided to have the lithium battery fire procedure as a standalone procedure. As a conclusion, what I would like you to remember is quite simple. If you have smoke or fire from a portable electronic device, think lithium battery and apply the procedure. Pilot flying, you may need to adapt. Give the control to the pilot monitoring if necessary. Remember that you have to cool the battery, and to do so, you need to pour water or non-alcoholic drinks on the water until smoke disappears. If possible, transfer the portable electronic device to the cabin. The cabin crew will deal with it. If not possible, cool it down and monitor it throughout the flights.